Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Amy from Ren Plus Us and I post regular homemaking, motherhood and cleaning motivational videos. I live in the Tasmanian countryside with my two little boys. Johnny is has just turned 11. When I recorded this video, I think he was actually still 10. And my little guy, Ren, he is 19 months now. I've also got another baby on the way, which is due later this month, which is really exciting, which is the purpose of this video, I suppose, today, which is basically to get ready for baby number three. So we're doing some cleaning, we're doing some nesting, and make sure that you stay around to the very end of this video because I had to do an emergency deep clean. So stick around till the end and I will show you guys what I have to do and why. I've really wanted to get myself ready to have two kids in the house, um, two little kids in the house I should say. So I have been buying some things that I think the kids would enjoy, some baby things and just sort of changing the house around. I ended up making a play area so I'm really excited to show you guys that and we're also going to be doing some unboxing of the things that I bought and some deep cleaning and there's a few more things in this video. It's a long video so I don't actually remember every single thing I put in here but I hope you guys enjoy it. So this video is aimed to motivate you so if you've got cleaning that you need to get done, if you've got nesting that you need to get done, maybe you've got a little one on the way as well then feel free to pop this on in the background and we will nest and clean together so right now i am cleaning out my pantry the pantry is just one of those jobs i've been avoiding and avoiding if you've watched any of my videos you might have seen in the background <laughs> my pantry door if it's been open and it is just it is a mess in there it is terrible so i at least started on it plan wasn't to get the whole thing done today. I'm trying to just get little bits done at a time, but I really wanted to deep clean my kitchen countertop. So I started using just dish soap and some water with a scrub daddy. And it's just fun to make nice little patterns. I like to dry with a microfiber cloth, which just saves paper towels and I don't know, something about it, it's nice to use. It feels nice in your hands and it tends to dry really well. But my pregnancy has been one of those pregnancies that's been quite up and down. I'm definitely feeling sad that I'm getting to the end of this pregnancy. It is highly likely that this is my last baby, so part of me still does want a fourth, but at the same time, I just don't know. I'm pushing 40. So I don't know if my body can actually handle having another baby. And on top of that, you know, finances and time, energy, all of those things. So I don't know. I would love to have a fourth, but we'll see. I think sometimes it's easier just to not commit saying this is your last child because it makes all those milestones so much harder. At least for me. Like maybe you're psyched to be done having kids and that's totally fine. I don't know. I just, I really enjoy being a mum. I don't know if, if that urge to have kids will ever end, but I suppose it's nice to also look at the good th other good things in life that you get to do when you don't have little kids around the house. If someone could remind me what those are, that would be great because I don't think I've done them in quite a while. But I've definitely still got quite a bit to get done. The baby is now due in, I think it's 24 days. I was originally going in to have a C-section, but hopefully now I won't actually need to have one, but I'll still be induced. 
So I bought Ren a whole bunch of art supplies, which you saw at the beginning of this video, because he just absolutely loves to draw, to paint, and I love having that stuff out for him ready to go. So this, I actually bought this, which is like little ball twirly whirly. I bought it for the new baby. I thought Ren would be a bit too old for it, but no, he absolutely loves it. And it's something that we always have out and we play with every single day. It's like one of his play routines, I suppose. He's always got to have a play with it every day. And it's nice. I think the little baby, this is something that him and the little baby can do together. For me, I'm an only child, so I'm not quite sure how the whole <laughs> close sibling thing actually works and how it's going to work and the issues involved. I know something about like who sits where in the car is a really big deal. So I don't know. I think I just need to be aware of aware of that as they get older. <laughs> who gets to sit where in the car? <laughs> Dead set. If I look sad right now, I just recorded like a bunch of stuff without pressing record. Right now I'm unboxing a ninja professional food processor and the reason why I have got a ninja food processor is well primarily is to make baby food. I got a Tommy Tippy baby food maker but it was broken so I returned it and the lovely people at Big W gave me a refund no problem and I was going to get another one but then I realized what I actually really wanted was a food processor because I've been wanting one for ages and I can I've got steamers and things to steam the veggies and everything so that's totally fine and this way I can put more food in there and you know make more stuff but also I was pretty excited because this one was on sale it was 100 and about 150 and the Tommy Tippy was also it had a lot of good reviews and it was also on clearance for like 110 so it was an extra 40 bucks yeah my math is yeah <laughs> that's right it's an extra 40 bucks so I got this and I've always wanted a food processor and one of the things I'll be excited about this is not only does it like puree and chop and do all that stuff that food processors do apparently it also grates cheese and it needs dough and because we're gluten-free we make a lot of our own sort of pizza dough and stuff like that so and I, to be honest, making pizza on a basis is actually pretty easy. I should give you guys a recipe. I'll do that soon. Uh, but just kneading the dough was kind of a tedious, I don't know, it's just tedious. I don't like doing it. So just being able to put the ingredients in here and also grating cheese. I don't know why, but I hate grating cheese and I don't like to buy pre-grated cheese because it's just more expensive. So just being able to chuck a bunch of cheese in here, have it be grated would be fantastic. So I hope it does what it says it does. It has got some good reviews and the price was right. A lot of people were saying, oh, this is like, I'm so glad I bought this. It's the best one I've ever bought. So hopefully those people aren't, I don't know, BSing. But I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted one of these. And just to be able to make like dips, hummus, stuff like that. Is really cool especially when you're gluten-free like there's a lot of things you can't just go to the store and buy so being able to kind of do like falafels and burger things is just brilliant so i'm looking at the blades and the blades are pretty impressive so we need to make some baby food so we're going to be doing that for Ren. Um, i have not had too much success unfortunately with him liking my baby food so hopefully I will get the recipe right this time and he'll happily eat porridge in the morning which is great but uh yeah no the last one roasted quite a few veggies and something he's just not interested in there's a lot of parts to this what have we got here this is the reckon of things like a grater Oh, yeah, that's the, that's got to be the grater. Oh no, slicing. Oh, flip for shredding. Gnarly. It's the dough turner, which I'm very excited about. We have pictures of cookies on here as well, so obviously it does dough for cookies. That's good too. So I feel like for 150 bucks so far, I'm really impressed. I will of course link this in the description. If 
I can get a link for it. <laughs> um, if I can't do an affiliate link, I'll just link, I don't know, whatever I can find for you guys. Cause I'd rather you be able to get it than not get it. Just so I can get a commission seems pretty rude. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go cut some veggies and try it. The kitchen is a freaking mess right now, to be honest. So is this table and my father-in-law is coming tomorrow. So I do have to get some cleanup done, but this baby food needs to be made. So I've got a steamer. I mean, you can just steam on like the regular stove top, but for some reason I also have got a rice cooker with a steamer that I'm going to use for this. So we'll steam and then we'll try puree. And I really hope, I'm actually really excited. I really hope it's as good as people say. So we'll see. We're going to be using this rice cooker steamer. I'm going to cut these a little bit smaller, actually. It's a sweet potato. I'll pop that in. And get it steaming. I think we'll steam the sweet potato first. And then do the rest. Oh no, I think I'll do the sweet potato and the carrot first and then I'll do the zucchini because obviously the zucchini is not going to take as long to steam. I just have to be kind of aware of the time. And i got to remember to put water in it. That would suck. But I'm recording, so there's that. It's got that part going well. So much packaging always seems to come along no matter what you purchase. But don't worry, it is all going to recycling. Oh, and this thing was so sharp. I couldn't believe how sharp it was. I think I've cut myself a couple of times on it already and all the reviews say, say that. Oh yes, the brilliant cheese grater and the dough maker. So I did find out that you do actually still have to knead the dough, but I made these amazing scones. They were cheese scones, which actually came with a little recipe book with the Ninja. And I did not knead it, I just put it in the Ninja. And oh my God, it, they turned out so, so good. Exciting. I really always wanted one of these. A stormy rain tried to wash away the dream. Ooh, and it actually came out pretty good. It wasn't as smooth as the baby packets, but really, if I'd put it on for another cycle, I would say it probably would have been as smooth as the baby packets. And also, Ren is like 18 months, so we should be able to handle a little bit of chunkiness. But so far, I have been so impressed with the Ninja, and to be honest, I've used it nearly every day, maybe every second day. I love the little recipe book that it comes with, because the recipes are all just really simple, and I don't know, it just sort of makes cooking fun. Alrighty, I've got my taste tester here. I'm so sorry, it's really dark in here. And we've got our food, so I'm gonna heat it up and hopefully, hopefully, you'll love it. I can already see like 
a chunkiness. So I probably should have put it through for a second puree as well, but you know what? We're learning. <laughs> Mommy, we're learning. You're hungry. Let's this give him a go. Very Baby Ren. Just think it's going to be a little bit too carroty for him. I feel like I can already tell. Oh, up, up, up. <laughs> Well, try again in a minute. And here is the current setup, or I should say now what was, which was just all the toys in the living room area, which was my plan to just always have them in there. But the place just started to feel like just cluttered and not nice. So I thought it would be nice just to have that adult living area back. So I made the decision, and I'd seen this on a few people did this online, to get rid of the dining table because, to be honest, we do not use our dining table. Really, well, we definitely don't dine at our dining table unless it's a special occasion, uh, like a, I don't know, Christmas or something. But we do use it to put a bunch of clutter on. <laughs> so really, it was something that could go. But to be honest, we had nowhere to store it. So I ended up just pushing it towards the kitchen and creating sort of a space at the front of it, which is, which is so far worked really, really, sorry, I had to hiccup, <laughs> which is so far worked really, really well. Because it just creates that extra space for toys and a little play area. And then that living room stays clear for, you know, grown ups. Relaxing time makes you feel like you've got a bit of tidy, clean space that you can sit and relax in. And it also kind of just, I don't know, separates it. Oh, baby cuddles are the best. I'm such a mama's boy, I love it. And the guy walking around is actually the boy's grandfather, so <laughs> don't worry, I know he's there. He's not a ghost, he's not some intruder. Yes, this is Ren's favorite little pastime, is to put toys behind here. He just loves it. He just chucks them over and kind of pulls them out. And yeah. Oh my gosh, there were just so many toys behind here. Woohoo, and here we go. These are the little box shelves that we got from Bunnings again. <laughs> if I can find something similar, um, I will definitely link it in the description. But I really like the color. Got two different colors. This to me is like a teal green. Apparently I see colors a bit strangely. So if you see a different color, totally fine. And we got a couple of pink ones as well. Or light, light salmon maybe. <laughs> But it was the most, I'd say, economical way to do this, to store the toys. And they look pretty nice as well, I reckon. And it's just good because Ren and hopefully the new baby will just be able to pull them out and pick out whatever toys they like. We got a windows down, driving down the 405. If you guys have chickens, you know these chicken food bags. I bet you have got something similar if you don't have the exact same ones. I actually saw someone turn one into this really cool little bag at one point, which is great for swimming and, you know, wet swimming costumes and stuff like that after swimming in the pool. So... Yeah, Google it. I'm sure you can find it online how to make them. Maybe I'll try making one soon and I'll show you guys how to do it. And the twirly whirly woo! Here we go and everything in its nice, neat place. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Don't think it'll stay that neat for that long. Gonna quit my job. Never wanna have 
So I've just popped some of this powder down, which helps deodorize and clean the carpet, basically. And you just vacuum it straight up. It leaves a beautiful, I think it's country vanilla, it's called, smell. Oh, there's something really satisfying about vacuuming a floor. I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite little cleaning tasks. And yay, putting down the carpet. So this is, oh, this is the third one of these I've actually bought. I've got two more in the sort of living area. And they're just, they're really inexpensive, only $50 again from Bunnings. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I know Ren loves them because they're so like super soft under your feet and they've got quite a bit of padding. So of course like little kids fall over all the time. I do have to warn you though that after a little while they get a bit, uh, a bit yucky. <laughs> um, you can wash them. I've washed them before in a bathtub um, and done various things to them. And I'll talk about how to wash those in another video. But uh, yeah, just, just be warned. <laughs> they will get they will end up not quite as nice as they start off but you know what that's the same with pretty much everything around a house when you've got little ones <laughs> oh, and the cat i honestly did not know what that lump was thank god i didn't just try to squish it down with my feet and ren is very happy to have a soft new soft rug for his play area he loves soft things. He was rolling around on that for the longest time. It was so sweet to see him so happy with it. So you can just see my little bookshelf there. My long-term goal is to get one of the bookshelves where you have all of the books facing forward for kids. That's definitely on my wish list, but I don't like to go out and just buy every single thing at once because it's just not economical and it's just so much stuff to put together. I feel like I need to sort of spread out my my shopping, my retail therapy. Yeah, you finally got rid of the toys. <laughs> so I pushed this chair back in a little bit as well just to give us a bit more space. And yes, I'm gonna give this rug, <laughs> if I can get run off it, a lovely clean outside. I just sort of took it this time outside and batted it, I guess one would say, and just gave the floor a bit of a vacuum. There's something about like batting mats like they used to do in the old days. Just like, I don't know, makes you feel so old school and country. <laughs> just to do something the same way people have been doing it for years. Oh, it's already looking so much better. So the vacuum that I'm using, I love this stick vac so much. It just works so well. And I will link it on Amazon if I can. Oh, yay! And this is actually a few days later. I took this video because I wanted to show you guys what the playroom was like once it's actually been played in and not like just perfectly spotless. So Ren is super, super happy with it. He just loves coming over here and playing and it's really nice to have the toys separate from the living area and in that way the boys have got a bit more room with their play couch in the living area that they can kind of rough house on without worrying about smashing into toys. And yeah, it just, I don't know, it separates the areas. It's really nice. It's worked so well and I am so glad I did it. So I can highly recommend if you can kind of push your dining table to the side a little bit for a while or even just store it somewhere. Uh, if you've got little ones and you want to play area, it worked so well for us. So fruit, yes, it is lunchtime. And yes, I have got my sweater on inside out. I didn't realize for the longest time, but uh, yeah, I decided not to uh, put it on the right way. I don't know why. I think I just didn't have time. <laughs> And it was keeping me warm, so I was like, who cares? We'll just have it on the inside out. Oh my gosh, I love fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. It is so tasty. And my little boy, Ren, just loves, loves strawberries, but he's very particular about the strawberries, so they have to be from a certain store, certain strawberry from a certain store cut in the right way. 
let me know in the comments below if your kids have got like a favorite fruit, favorite berry or something. And yes, we are making, and if you've seen this channel before, you know what I'm gonna say, we are making a cheese toasties for lunch. Love those cheese toasties. I'm putting some lovely garlic aioli on them. If you want to give your cheese toasty a bit of a kick, try popping a little bit of garlic aioli or even mustard on there. It's so good. Cheers. I gotta say, I'm getting a little bit hungry even just watching this video and I've just eaten, so I think I might blame the pregnancy on that as well. Fruit, fruit salad for everyone. I know that you know, I think I read somewhere you're not really supposed to eat more than like a couple of serves of fruit a day, but honestly, like it's just so tasty. It's the perfect little snack. So, ho ho. Oh my goodness, this was another chore that I just was not looking forward to. I've got a pile of clothes in my room that I share with Ren and soon to be the new baby. And I needed to basically tidy them up and get them in this basket. And there was, oh, there was a lot of folding. But you know what? I think I just loved hanging out with Ren while I did this. He's always really interested in what I'm doing. He loves helping with the little chores around the house, which is really sweet. And I do try to encourage him. But even though this isn't laundry, I always used to avoid folding laundry and putting it away, but I found now it's like quite a nice relaxing activity because you can sit down, you still feel like you're being productive. And honestly, sometimes I'll put like, I don't know, a show in the background, whether it's some true crime thing or I don't know, just something to have it in the background. Or sometimes even like one of these videos, not my own, that would be a little bit weird, <laughs> but I'll put on another channel's videos. And it just keeps me motivated. Oh, more cuddles. Such a precious little guy. <laughs> Baby and toddler cuddles are just the best. <laughs> I'm just going for my glasses. I've still got a lot to do for this new baby. I need to go through all of Ren's newborn baby clothes and find all the little newborn sizes and give them a wash. Actually, there was quite a few newborn clothes that Ren, he was born over four kilograms, so he just did not fit into them from the get-go. So I think I might have some that really, they have maybe only been used once or not at all. But yeah, that's definitely gonna be in a video coming up soon, probably in the second or third 
nest and claim with me and then I also have to pack pack my bag for the hospital ah I just can't believe that it is getting so so close to having this baby I just feel like I don't know my due date's gonna come my induction date's gonna come induction date inducing date gonna come and it's gonna be such a shock If you're wondering why I don't have a closet in the bedroom, um, I have a closet in a, another room, but I like just to have a few bits of clothing uh, of my own, not just friends in the room that I'm sleeping in, just so I can quickly like put something on or, yeah, I don't know. Makes it feel more like my room, I suppose. Oh, here he comes, doing something weird. Guys, let me know is it those last few little bits of clothes that is enjoyable or the most annoying to pick up? Yay, we're finally getting this a dust off and oh yeah, it's done. The annoying chore is done, and to be honest, I think that's actually stayed quite tidy. That basket well works pretty well for me. So what are we building here? Oh, I was really excited about this. This is a learning tower that I got for Ren. Again, it's just one of those things that I wanted to have ready for when the new baby came. So I just didn't want to have to put it together and I don't know, worry about it. I just wanted it done and sorted. So I looked everywhere. I have been doing research on learning towers for the longest time. It was one of those, often I'll just like purchase something quickly, but in this case, I did a lot of research on learning towers and I don't know what the best ones were, what the prices were. And I just could not find one that I was happy with the price. There was a lot that were, I have to say, not too expensive, but obviously they're all ones that you buy online and the shipping costs really added up. So I ended up finding this one at Kmart and unfortunately they were all sold out and they had been sold out for the longest time. I think it was just about $75 at Kmart from memory now, $70, $75. Most of the other ones were like a hundred and, at least $125 um, with shipping. Uh, there were even more so I was so psyched when I saw this and I was planning on going and buying it but as I said it sold out before I had a chance and I was just I've been kicking myself for the longest time I should have bought that I should have bought that one of the things that slowed me down was that it doesn't it's not height adjustable so I wanted to get one that was height adjustable but I ended up kind of I don't know I just I don't think the extra money for me is necessarily worth it but there's some really great height adjustable ones available uh, online if you don't mind spending the extra bit of money plus I just figure you know when they get to that stage where they're a bit taller you can just put them on a step stool so that was my thinking but hopefully I made the right choice but then yes so I waited the longest time I was checking almost every day to see if these were back in store and they weren't and then I went online to actually purchase something else and I noticed that it didn't have the big red cross not available next to it and I was like yes so I bought it pretty much like as fast as I could straight away and uh, yeah it came in really quickly and I was just so pleased to get it you can also make them but you know I sort of figured that it would cost just as much to make as it would to get this Kmart one so we went with the Kmart one that's my cat trying to get in that little tiny box I don't think she's maybe aware of her size. <laughs> yep, so she's just choosing to sit on it. But little Ren, he is little Mr. Builder. He just loves to help us build any kind of anything really. He loves like the little flat pack things and he helps to screw in the screws and he's really good at it and he gets like so excited. He gets that like toddler excited.
as always, if I can find a link to one of these wonderful Kmart learning towers for you guys, I will definitely pop it in the description. There's another really good one uh, that I was looking at that again, it was just the shipping was a little bit much for where I live, but it might be a lot cheaper where you guys live, which was the hubby made version, which is also made in Australia. Obviously, if you are in the US, uh, you might want to consider looking at what else is around in your area on your Amazon page. I don't know, you guys have a lot more choice in the US, so I get a bit jealous sometimes. But the hubby made one is also height adjustable and it was the most economical that I could at least find in Australia. There's another really good one that I saw on uh, Little Nation, which I thought about getting, but again, it wasn't height adjustable. And, but the shipping was not too bad. I think they do like a flat shipping rate of about $10 to where I live. So yeah, I know that was a good deal as well, but again, it wasn't height adjustable and this one was just a tad more inexpensive and it was in stock. So thanks Kmart. So if you're wondering the purpose of these learning towers, it's basically so kids can safely get a, so it's like, okay, so it's basically like a traditional step stool, except it's kind of like this little barrier around it. So it's a lot safer for kids because as you know, little ones tend to just fall off of things all the time. So yeah, so it just gives them a little bit more security and like, as a mum, you're not constantly like, <gasps> Right, that they're going to fall and trying to keep an eye on them you can focus a bit more on what you're doing but basically you put them in the kitchen or bathroom or wherever there's a high surface that they want to get to that they can't and a lot of people put them in the kitchen because little kids tend to well, at least my little boy loves seeing what i'm doing in the kitchen and loves helping me bake and do all those sorts of things so they can really get more involved in the kitchen and he just loves getting up there uses it all the time and it really gives them a sense of independence. I think it was originally a Montessori concept, I believe. And we try to do a lot of Montessori things in the house because it is definitely one of the better, well-studied childhood education concepts, I would say. <laughs> And being a homeschool mom for a while, I definitely have to do my research on childhood education. I'm also hopefully going to be working at some point in the future as a learning and development psychologist. We will see if I manage to get into masters and get all that done, but I would love to do something like that because I just find education, learning, development in all ages of life is just fascinating to me and I love being able to find I suppose like different little hacks and ways we learn and why we learn and how we can improve our lives so yeah fingers crossed <laughs> fingers crossed I make it into masters I'm one of those absolute weirdos that just loves building flat, pack, flat, flat, I can say it, flat pack furniture. <laughs> I get a kick out of it, it's a bit strange. I'm not great with, I'm okay with building things from scratch, I suppose, but I don't know, I just, I find this really satisfying. 
let me know in the comments if you are a widow like me and you actually enjoy building your flat pack furniture. I could start a little business where I like charge, you know, I don't know, $25 to build a flat, flat pack. Why is that so hard to say? Flat pack piece of furniture. Yeah, and of course the cats thought it was for them and they could not wait to get on it. So I'm nearly done here, but I think I had to possibly go out because I know I changed my shirts from this bit to the next bit. So, so yeah. Ren's already trying to climb on it. He knows it's his. Stopping to have a little bit of a play, which I like to do sometimes, just stop and yeah, smell the roses, smell the flowers, they say. Oh, there goes the toys. Oh, I'm back again and I am so close to being done. Yeah, it's definitely gotten warmer because <laughs> I'm not wearing a sweater. I Man's not wearing pants, but that's just rain as well. Sometimes he just takes them off. It's not. <laughs> An instant smile. <laughs> yeah, this is a definite must get purchase. Like, we have used this. He uses it constantly. I mean, he's just constantly climbing up there. It's just part of, I don't know, part of what he does. And he helps me bake cakes and he helps me clean the kitchen countertop and he also just likes to go up there and eat his snacks or eat his lunch he doesn't like to be confined in a high chair so this is a really good solution for that as well but definitely if you're on a budget and you're just getting your must-haves at least for me this is definitely up there as a must-have <laughs> Apparently, I did not do it, do it quite, quite right. Ren had to come along and fix my handiwork. Thanks, Ren. Ah, oh, yes, so here we are, the emergency deep clean. Okay, so I had some stains on the carpet and I just bought some carpet stain remover, so I went straight to those. But let me explain why we had to do an emergency deep clean. I don't know why I'm saying we, it was just made a deep clean. So <laughs> why I had to do an emergency deep clean was basically I had taken Johnny to the doctor earlier that day and because he'd been getting really he was getting really tired and it turned out that he had this really super super severe allergy to dust mites so it's actually I've now since read that it's almost impossible to kind of get rid of dust mites I mean I vacuum the house I'll say like once or twice a day with a vacuum with a HEPA filter so yeah uh, but you know the mum instincts clicked in 
and I just was like, okay, we're gonna get Jones running super, super deep cleaned. Oh, and definitely glad I did those windows as well. And also, it's getting late at night. I was so tired, and Ren was just so whingy, but I just had to, had to, had to get done. I don't know if you guys have had those those nights where you're just so desperate to get something done and I don't know it's just it's not fun it's not working out so I am shampooing the carpet as well I find that a good shampoo of the carpet makes such a big difference like you pick up so much so many things that you like when you vacuum the carpet you're like oh yeah it's really clean when you shampoo the carpet you're like no 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 now it's clean. <laughs> so I'm using the Vax Carpet Cleaner and I just luckily bought, well no, I just had a tiny bit of the Vax Carpet Shampoo leftover. If I can find this online, I'll link it in the description below. I did so, so much research on the right, what the best carpet shampoo would be, like in terms of price and quality and reviews and everything and this definitely came out at the top and I have to say I'm really glad I bought it it works really well the only thing that I wish it had was an attachment to be able to steam or steam clean deep clean shampoo the furniture unfortunately it doesn't but besides that it works so so well And my vacuum cleaner actually died when I was trying to vacuum the carpet, which you're supposed to do before you shampoo it. And um, but I decided to shampoo it anyway. But you'll notice that I'm picking up a lot of these little kind of balls of, yep, there's one, balls of stuff. And that's basically just because I haven't vacuumed the carpet well enough. But oh, it makes such a difference. And especially in that little front area where we take our shoes off sometimes. You know, people just sort of step over it and there's a lot of, you know, we live in the country. There's things like wallaby poo and dirt and everything outside. So I always try to keep that little area a really good clean whenever I get the shampoo out. Oh, I love it. Oh, here we go. Oh, so, so, so nasty. <laughs> but you know what? So much better to be being thrown away than to be in the carpet. <laughs> so I had just done some shopping and we are going to restock a few things. If you believe in love, give me a feeling. If you believe in me, hold me and let me in. If you are ready, I'm gonna reach you. I've got a feeling. By the way, this is a weird one. What do you guys think of this sweater that I bought? Uh, I've had like friends and family tell me that it's like super, super not that pretty, but I actually really like it and it's so warm and soft and I like the color. So let me know your honest opinion in the comments. Is this something that should go to the back of the closet or is this something that I can uh, keep wearing? <laughs> I will keep you guys up to date with Johnny's allergy outcome. I think he's going to go to a allergy specialist to get desensitized, which is perfect because dust mites are pretty much impossible to avoid, especially in the area that we live because it really gets quite damp and cold and apparently that helps them, like the dry, hot dry air helps them thrive <laughs> and we don't, do not have that here. Tassie. It tends to be quite cold and damp. But I'm also going to be buying him a special allergy mattress cover and pillow cover 
So I'm hoping that that will also help a little bit. I'll basically be doing everything that I possibly can to get the amount of dust mites in the house down. Although I think I pretty much do that anyway, I've got to say. But uh, yeah, I'll try even a little bit harder. And this, what I'm putting these popcorn things in is actually a bread bin, but we don't really use the bread bin because I find we just constantly eat the bread so it's either left out or it's in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. So I thought, well, hey, let's use this for snacks instead. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, there will be another Clean and Nest With Me coming up soon. We'll be doing some more stuff based around the baby. A lot of the stuff I know was based around Ren and the house in general. But you know what? That's just life. That's what sometimes baby prep is. It's getting other things around the house done. But next time... I think actually I think next time I'll be doing a little bit more deep cleaning but uh, yeah another, another video coming up I'll definitely be doing a lot more baby focused stuff so I really hope you guys stay with me on this journey while I have baby number three it's really getting to that point where it's very exciting so yeah thanks for coming with me on the journey and remember guys life is short life is now